WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is Tuesday, the 12th of November, and it's the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update. So we're looking at, I just wanted to show you this. I did the last two hours. I did Tommy's show. He, he couldn't make it. And I did my show, the usual show, Tiger Technicians Hour. But I, I had a question. I, I thought I got to it, but I didn't. FXI, which is the ICS China Large Cap ETF, made this pattern. It's really important that Chapman wave those peak D, the four, fourth highest peak. Look what happened. Doji candle peak D back in early October in the 37s. Pulls back sharply to the 30 level. And then it has a peak A, peak B, peak C, and a D underneath it. Not very strong. And look what happened today. It's down $1.7 at 30.40. This is not good news. Weekly peak D underneath the 200 period moving average of 30.85 at 30.40. That uh, 30.85 level is really important. It has to try to hit that one more time. Otherwise, it's kind of stuck. All right, so let's just get around. Our, our thing is the Dow right now is down 116. Probably going to make a peak A today, and then there'll be a bit of a pullback, but there should be higher highs to come. Looking at the S&P, SPX.X, there we go. Uh, lower high today, I believe that's also peak A. we down 12 at 59.89. All-time highs like the Dow yesterday. Weekly charts look fabulous. QQQ, NDX 100, uh, another peak A, um, minus 80 right cents right now at 513.05, holding quite nicely. A uh, very strong weekly chart, IWM down 267, much deeper than the others because it's had a much bigger move to the upside. I've got this is a peak D at 239.02. We want to pull back. There's a particular pattern that we're looking at. And we would like to enter a, a, a deeper a kind of a trading position. Uh, let's go to the bonds right now. The bonds are down over a half a point. That's not a good sign. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil is trading uh, down 14 cents. Gold uh, tried to rally. Now it's down 12, making lower lows and lower highs. This is not a good sign. It's in a consolidation phase. The dollar is doing very well. The dollar is up. Um, 47 ticks at 105.97. If it gets to the 106.75 area uh, in the next week, <clears throat> that's going to be a breakout from the weekly chart resistance level. So stay tuned. This is Steve Rhodes coming up. We recorded the show earlier. Great programming here today. And uh, check out my opening call and check out Thursday. I'm doing my webinar for subscribers. It's going to be very important sector rotation. Today we have a stock that's up 20%, uh, 19%. Uh, one of our stocks done really nicely. I'll be back a little later on. 